Hello my wonderful viewers and welcome back. This is McDutch playing Fallout 4 and um, I know I have uh, I've been uh, absent for quite a while um, uh, Me and Twitch don't seem to get along so I'm really hoping that this uh, particular uh, Building tip is actually gonna work so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm uh, showcasing the contraptions DLC uh, which came out today and I've already uh, uh, made a temporary floor I mean um, you know it hasn't got any walls and all that and it's floating here and there but it's just to basically show you how you can for example make ammo okay so what are you gonna need you're gonna need lots of power and um, I don't have science 4 yet, so I cannot make the, the huge generator yet. Uh, you're gonna need a terminal to tell you uh, to tell your machines uh, what you want to make. Let me check my sound. Yep, there you go. All right, sounds working fine. Uh, anyway, you need you need a terminal to to you know to tell your machines what kind of ammo you want to make or clothing or armor or whatever you know. But in this case, I'm gonna make ammo. Um, you're gonna hook it up to a switch so you can turn it on and off by uh, you know by your own command. And uh, then you're gonna have to connect all the other things all together. So my power. Actually, I need to delete this line here. Um, my power is uh, 30 for this uh, for this build, um, so it's going to this pylon. Then it's going to my uh, uh, switched pylon, and after that, it just goes to this huge pylon, and that distributes it to all the machines. Okay, so what are you gonna need? You're gonna need a vacuum hopper, and I'll show you where it is in the power go to the conveyor uh, power manufacturing and then go to miscellaneous it's the last one and it says pulls items out of an adjacent container when powered okay so i've built a little container over here uh, it's empty at the moment but uh, i will fill this up and when i switch it on it will suck up all these items and we'll put it up through here it will just pass along and then it goes into the conveyor belt lift and it lifts it up up there then the first machine it gets into is the sorter now the sorter is uh, uh, let me show you where you, there you go in the black that seems perfect uh, sorts incoming objects when powered based on its current inventory so basically what this will do is um, uh, if it's got components that it's needed, it will just let it pass through. Otherwise, it will just, you know, uh, redirect it somewhere else. If you've got components, it comes to this stop over here, component sorter. And the component sorter says uh, sort incoming objects by components they contain based on, uh, 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 on its current inventory. After that, it will roll down all the way over here. This is the ammunition plant. This will actually make all the... Oh, it seems I do not have enough. Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, when I switch the... Turn on the switch, it will have power. Never mind. Um, so, th this will make the ammunition. Uh, it needs some components, which I will show you in a minute. And after that, when it's created some ammo, it's going to roll out here. And then it's going to be uh, catched here in the conveyor storage. Now I didn't have enough components to build. Um, so what will happen is, uh, at least that's what I'm hoping. I haven't really tested it yet, not in this state. Um, all the items that it will not need should be uh, sent to this hopper. And uh, as, as well as the components, if it doesn't need it, it's going to go into the hopper. At least that's what I'm hoping. And the hopper um, is right here. And the hopper says, drop collected inventory out uh, the bottom when powered. And so this will open up. 
And uh, like I said, I, I'm missing a few components to, to, you know, make some more conveyor belts and stuff like that. So whatever it doesn't need, it's going to be dropped in here. At least that's that's my theory. Um, and all the ammo that is created will be stored up in here. Easy for you to pick it up. All right. So without further ado, I am going to show you my inventory. Um I have gathered a little bit of junk. Um, basically what I need is a fertilizer and a steel. Uh, but I've, I've put in some, some other stuff as well. Um, so, so it needs to sort it out. And, and I've tried some other things in the beginning and it doesn't really seem to work. So I'm hoping I've, I've set it up correctly now. So it will sort it out. If it doesn't work... Uh, 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 which I am a little bit afraid of. It's just going to send everything straight through everything. But it doesn't matter because what it needs, it's going to use it here anyway. And the rest is going to stay in here. Um, well, we'll see how that goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go to my junk tab. Store all the things that I have just for this little, little bit of... Uh, uh, for, for this little demo here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to set the terminal. And what we want to is to uh, go to the ammunition plant. And we're going to tell it to make some 45 caliber rounds. For each box of 10 rounds, it will require two steel and one uh, fertilizer. And... As I showed you, that's in here. I've got some fertilizer over here and a little bit of steel, also seven, you know, uh, or objects that, that have steel components in it. So uh, if this works, I should have 70 uh, ammo in here. And the rest of the stuff is either going to be in here or, which I am hoping, is going to get sorted out and drops it in here. All right. Got work to do. Can't talk now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go up and we're going to turn this on and see how it works. Okay, so the items are going to get sucked in and there they go. On the conveyor belt, so you, you see my my newspaper, my my plate, my wrench, and all that sort of stuff. So over here it should get sorted, but as you can see, the newspaper is going through it. Uh, I was afraid of that, so that's not going to work, unfortunately. The rest, however, is. It is coming down over here. here look at it ho all hop down, going in here. And as you can see, the, the Boston Bugle and the, and the yellow plate is still stored in here. And when it gets fertilizer and enough steel, they will be compressed into ammo and end up here. So we'll just have to wait. I didn't put all my junk in there. Oh, we have a little bit of a... Whoa, I need to fix that. <laughs> What's going on here, guys? All right, doesn't seem to be quite working the way I want it to. <laughs> All right. All right, well, you can do it another way as well. You can just take these components and shove them straight in. But, you know, the, the point of all these conveyor belts and all that, you know, it's going to be making it fully automatic. Anyway, let's put in the uh, components manually here. There we go. And it should start working right now. At least. It's what it did this afternoon, so it should be working. There we go. And here's the ammo. And we got uh, 10 45 caliber ammo. And the next one is about to come out. There we go. 20. Uh, 
and that's the next 10 so that makes 30 so in total it would make 70 uh, according to my to the the junk that I've uh, selected to make this um, apparently it doesn't get sorted so that's kind of weird it should so I'm not sure if this is bugged and, and, and Bethesda needs to fix that or if I'm doing something wrong. Uh, like I said, it's, it's only been out for a day and I've, I've been at it, uh, you know, basically the end of the afternoon and, and all evening trying to get it to work. And I did get to work uh, the basic things. Um, yeah, but that's about it. It it it's not working as I thought it should be. Um, so either I'm doing something wrong, or I don't know. The rest should have been stored in here. But anyway, it's it's in here, and and it hasn't broken it down either. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that. But oh well, we can take all that and we can shut it off. Um, I'll show you a little bit of. Uh, uh, other machines that you can hook up as well my idea would be that you know all the things that weren't uh, required was going to go through this this funnel here go into another conveyor belt and then you can make a different things with that and what I was thinking of oh, wrong I need to go to the workshop here we go um, no come on work with me there you go if you look at the machinery there's a, a whole bunch of variety that you can make here um, let me show you there you go um, builds a variety of basic objects from its inventory when powered use a connected terminal to set what to build so basically you can you know you can make the uh, giddy up uh, uh, horse toy you can you can make some space toys or whatever armor uh, you can make uh, combat armor and leather armor and, and some other type of armor I'm not sure there were three t there were three uh, types uh, basic weapons you can uh, build clothing uh, build energy weapons heavy weapons um, uh, as in this example I've used uh, this building here to make uh, ammunition uh, uh, you can make some mines and grenades but you will need the and I don't have uh, I don't have that yet you can build some fireworks not sure how that works yet and you can make some food so for instance you can uh, you know all the processed food like the uh, Salzburg steak and the crab and all that sort of sort of stuff you can manufacture that as well um, so the whole point was to you know for instance if you want to make the food to, to have the rest come up in here just you know go through another conveyor belt to the to the other machine and then you know you will need another conveyor belt or somehow make it merge into one and then so it can just be collected all in one uh, conveyor storage but yeah I'm not uh, quite convinced it is actually working as it should um, like I said, it, it should have just, you know, sorted it out. That's why it's called a sorter, right? A component sorter and the, the basic uh, item sorter. Um, so I'm not sure how that works. Um, as soon as I do, I will put up another video. Uh, but this is just, you know, for the first day to, to help you guys out. So you know how to, uh, how to start manufacturing. And uh, yeah, I, I started a new playthrough I don't have any of my older saves anymore um, playing on hardcore uh, on a survivor mode as you can see by the uh, hunger and and thirst icons on the bottom and so I don't have really that much yet so but I, I was glad that I could set this up at least you know in a basic way so you can uh, you can try and, uh, and and you know do some stuff for yourself uh, of course you can you can completely build a warehouse with all the walls and all that um, but I'm not going to show showcase that here um, once I've uh, collected a lot of stuff I will I will make a better video than this but yeah this is just a help out tutorial 
Uh, hope you like it. If you do, please subscribe to my channel or, uh, you know, drop at least a like. And, uh, you know, if, if there's anything that you want to wanna tell me, if, if I did something wrong with this, uh, and if you have figured it out, let me know in the comment section below on YouTube. Um, you know, or, or drop me a line on Twitter. All the links in, uh, uh, for my YouTube and Twitter and Twitch are all on my uh, respective pages. Alright, hope this helped. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.